Are you on a tight budget but want to experience good gaming? Don't want to spend too much but want to stream and record videos? The RX 560. How much can it do on a budget build? Is the RX 560 good for streaming and recording or is it just enough for enjoying games? What happens when you record or stream? What happens if you just play without the recording feature of AMD's Radeon Relive? 80 to 90% of the time, everyone wants that 1920 by 1080 resolution experience. But can a budget setup like this handle it? Hey everyone, today we will be focusing on the performance of the RX 560 4GB while it records or streams. First off, AMD's driver Adrenaline 18.8.1 offers us Radeon Relive. The driver is also a recording and streaming platform for those who want to share their gaming experiences and for whichever purpose they want. I've put the link on the description below just in case you want to learn more about the driver. Now I know you're wondering how do you even record on Radeon Relive? So you could click the video tag on the screen for a great tutorial I found where STG Games will guide you on how to record on the best settings that Relive has to offer. But how much drops on FPS do you really get during recording or streaming? I did a benchmark on the GPU without recording and a few more with different resolutions and settings with recording. For this, I used Heaven Benchmark 4.0 by Unigen, which I've added to the description below. Since I did the first benchmark without recording, I'll just provide you with some photos. I already did the tedious task of testing the benches with minor differences, and we will still be testing a few more things. I set the API to Direct X11, Quality to High, Tessellation Normal, Anti-Aliasing to Only, Times 2. Now I set it to times 2 because from the previous benchmarks there were no improvement whatsoever even on low settings. Full screen on and of course a resolution of 1920 by 1080 As the benchmark is a test to see how much a GPU can do on a certain load, automatically when you start the benchmark it turns on ambient occlusion, volumetric shadows, and refraction. For the first benchmark, we started off at a very bad 29.4 FPS. When you step away from a lot of details in the picture, it goes up to 60.5. When the scenery is at night mode, we reach 44.3 to 70 FPS. Average for the benchmark without recording, we got 36 FPS on high settings with all special effects options on. Now I tried the same settings on high with recording and we got an average FPS of 35.5. Turn that to mid settings without touching the others, we got an average of 40.9 FPS. You're probably thinking by now that this is bad news, so I also took the liberty of testing it on a similar aspect ratio but a lower resolution which is 1600 by 900. On high settings, we got an average of 48.1 FPS. On mid, 54.6. Yes, we still didn't reach that 60 FPS standard, but please do remember that the RX 560 is a budget VGA. However, I didn't stop there. I was able to discover the best settings that the RX 560 4GB could offer at 1920 by 1080 on high settings. Simply, in general, in any game, if you want to play safe and have the best experience at 1920 by 1080, 
turn off all those special settings or graphics options such as tessellation, ambient occlusion, refraction, and volumetric shadows. Huge difference. It never dropped below 60 FPS and was even able to reach 110 FPS on night mode. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was able to help you and answer some of the questions you may have about the GPU. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you next time.